apologies uh, for the delay. So, like many other episodes, we will be talking briefly about. Hi, this is Shadi, and today we will be discussing Senegalese wrestling. This is something that's been uh, Counter it requested with God for quite some time now, and yeah, I apologize for the delay. <laughs> so, like many other episodes, we will be talking briefly about the history and All the tradition of the art, and of course it. the rules, and compare it with some throws. Uh, of judo obviously this is grappling so you're gonna see a lot of similarities and in this one in particular i'm gonna talk about its transition or its beautiful carry into mma of course talking about umar kane at the end or rug rug so before i do that i just want to say that if i don't cover uh, a particular style of grappling or it takes me some, some time i apologize sometimes there's just not enough footage to work with whether it is Spanish, Portuguese, etc. Or sometimes if there is, it's probably owned by something like Nat Geo or something that would just get me blocked worldwide and the video will not be accessible. So I apologize. So without further ado, uh, let's first talk about the tradition. We have to understand that first there is many uh, ethnic groups uh, in Senegal. So this is according to afroculture.net. And if I say something inaccurate or needs clarifying, please uh, let me know in the comments below. So. Uh, according to the uh, Bambara, Wolof, and Serer tradition, um, this is something that was trained in preparation for war, and it would be trained at night. Obviously, they would condition themselves with uh, like uh, physical strength training and other stuff. Obviously, the diet plays a huge role. And of course, there is the um, competitions for times of peace. For example, according to the uh, Diola and the Serer, uh, which are ethnic groups, they would train in the times of peace, particularly um, at the end of the harvest, and they would hold competition to uh, decide who is the strongest among the villagers. And after the first or after the rainy season, uh, they would gather around for the competition and they would compete. And the winner no would obviously be a huge pride for uh, the village that he belongs to or he comes from, and they would get rewarded with like cereal cattle and other precious prizes uh, a little bit similar to korean shiram which is an art obviously that was uh, practiced during wartime and also during uh, peace where uh, during the um, festivals they would uh, compete and the winner would get something valuable which is particularly a ox which is uh, of high value and even till this day um, the competition is still being made and they would get like a sculpture of a golden ox as a symbol of their old tradition and very similar here in Senegalese wrestling you have for peace and you have for war also um, depending on the ethnic group there is some that is more acrobatic uh, barely no strike uh, very little or no striking and there are some that are just absolutely just hardcore and they would strike now um, as you see in the footage in front of you, it can be very hardcore with striking, winning sometimes by KO. So when it comes to the rules, you either have to plant someone flat on their back, head, shoulders, buttocks, or on all fours, particularly um, the hands or elbows and knees, um, and also the KO. So the ring is made up of sandbags. You have to get them to the ground or outside of the wrestling area, and it can be done through high amplitude uh, throwing as you see in front of you it can be done also by the ko and it can be done by dragging and really grip fighting uh, until you get someone out of the surface area as you see the uh, edge uh, behind them so striking is a very crucial when it comes to um, carrying into self-defense or mma which is obviously very important to me um, you can see there is uh, some garment involved uh, the belt uh, similar to all belt wrestling uh, but it is a bit different as you see the KOs the brutal KOs also overhooks underhooks and fighting for the grip so it's not just it's like a belt grip and you have to keep it the entire fight like Lima or any type of uh, belt wrestling so it is a mix of everything uh, which makes it truly absolutely remarkable now let's compare some throwing um, here you see uh, grabbing the belt and the right, legs uh, I mean... up with a beautiful skuinage. Um, this is what I really like about this uh, lamb wrestling or Senegalese wrestling. I think the punching is kind of uh, throwing. It doesn't uh, here you see really. You are clearly demonstrating fit. control, power, and just overall great skills. 
Um, let's see it here in judo. In judo, it can be done multiple ways. Rather grabbing the sleeve, uh, the lapel, one leg, two leg, having upper body control or just lower body control. It's also kuinage as long as you're scooping up and slamming down. Uh, do not confuse it with Moro Tegari. It, it was grabbed with both legs. So uh, it's important to really scoop up and take down. Uh, the next one here is uh, Ushiro Goshi. Again, demonstrating control, strength, and technical skills to clearly show that he is the superior wrestler. Um, also, there is like a little strings and stuff that they would hold each other with if someone can really talk more about it i would really appreciate it um here you see oshiro goshi is like um like a counter attack obviously judokas would opt more for uranage but i would say oshiro goshi is highly underrated uh first for self-defense you would remain standing this is very important and two if you want why, to engage why is it on the ground, back like you that, can too? easily find yourself in a very favorable position like the yoko shiogatame or That's... side control now here, let's continue. He rotates him always onto a fucking his back actor. and throws down with Ippon Serenage. Absolutely genius and absolutely beautiful. Let's see that again. So here, there's striking. There's also grip fighting, and then rotates him onto his back and cuts down with. The oh, hands. he's trying to throw Clearly him over the shoulder. Is that what he's trying to do? If you want to engage on the and ground more for move Uranage, from? but I would say Slur. Ah, what really? Talk really? More about it. I would really appreciate it. Um, here you see Oshiro Goshi ah, is like come um, on, that wasn't even like close a counter to to attack. Him over Obviously, the judokas would opt more for uranage, but I would say he's Shiro literally Goshi helping him with the hand before he uh, even first tries for to self throw him. He would remain standing. This is very important. And two, if you I want to engage on the ground, you can easily find yourself in a very favorable position, like the yoko shiogatame or side control. Now here, let's continue. He. Uh, making sure you are lower than them and just cutting down with the hands. It is a teiwaza for a reason. The Senegalese wrestler did it beautifully. Here, let's see a very monumental or picturesque uh, kata guruma high lift, slamming down the old classical kata guruma where we would grab the leg, open up, position themselves, grab the leg, lift up with the hips, and then slam down with the hands again another teiwaza or hand technique uh, classical uh, again classical. This is something that's very uh, it's i would say their bread and butter is the high amplitude throw if they want to take it into self-defense or mma uh, they would should really rely on it uh, in I'm order fine. to make I'm the art i'm slowly falling asleep to this video though not gonna lie maybe it's his voice this machine linky nicky hand knife with